a pole sitter for the MotoGP at just 20 years of age, Quattararo made a name for himself on the racetracks and was recognized as the rookie of 2019. In the paddock, many recognize him as no ordinary racer and could well be another future legend. He is certainly tough and is a force to be reckoned with. Frenchman Fabio Quattararo is a MotoGP racer for Yamaha Monster Energy. As a resident of Andorra, he's among the top successful French MotoGP riders in the series and is also recognized as fast and fearless. He gained fame when he was young and even got the recognition as the next Valentino Rossi because of his impeccable results. Fabio took his dream to the next level with high expectations and determination. He faced a lot of obstacles along his path but still made his dreams come true. Fabio started his racing career when he was four and emulated his hero, Valentino Rossi. He not only followed in his footsteps, but also surprisingly took it a step further. This is the story of Fabio Quattararo. Fabio is popularly nicknamed El Diablo. He's a French motorcycle racer. His birthday is on April 20th, 1999, and he participates in the MotoGP circuits for Monster Energy. He won the championship in MotoGP in 2021 and holds the title as the first Frenchman to have ever done that in the entire history of the Premier class. Even before he started his Grand Prix career, Fabio already had several titles. Six titles from the Spanish championship and one from the 2013-14 CEV Moto3 class. Having gained a lot of success when young, many people expected him to do even better and even compared him to Marc Marquez. Mark had multiple titles and had set many records during his races to the World Championship. Fabio raced his Patronus Yamaha SRT in 2019 and became the Rookie of the Year. He stood at the podium seven times and came in fifth out of all the podium standings. With three race victories to account for in the 2020 season, he joined the racing team Yamaha in 2021 in place of Valentino Rossi. During his initial season, he claimed the championship with 10 podiums and five wins. This was just a taste of what Fabio would achieve in his career. So who is Fabio Quattararo and how did he get to where he is today? Let's start from the beginning. Nice was Quattararo's birthplace. When he was four, he began racing in France and went to Spain to participate in the Cup for Young Riders, Promo Velocidad. The Royal Automobile Club of Catalonia organized the event and Fabio won the 50cc class in 2008, the 70cc class in 2009, and 80cc in 2011. 2012 marked a win for him in the pre-Moto3 at the Mediterranean. He then joined Moto3 while dubbed as the Spanish local champion. Fabio's name became popular as soon as he started his career as a Grand Prix racer. When he was 15 years of age in 2015, he joined the Moto3 class. The rule restricting the participants was repealed that same year, meaning that he could join at a much younger age. After becoming the 2013 Moto3 champion for FIM CEV, as people had predicted, he was declared a threat. He'd certainly made an impression from the start and continues to do so. Due to unfortunate circumstances, he was injured and had to stop racing for some time. Fortunately, this was only for a short period of time and he was back on his bike soon after with a full recovery he was still able to complete the position 10th overall. This was the mark of a good career for him, even though things were not always smooth running. All riders must go through tough times to be truly great, and if Fabio and other riders can't confirm that, then who can? Fabio attained position 13th as a Leopard Racing Team member and then again in 2017 for the Moto3 class. He made huge progress in the Moto2 Championship in 2018. He won the GP and received a pole at the Barcelona circuit. He was in second place at Assen in the TT circuit and came in 10th in the last standings. He was to join the Yamaha team together with Franco Morbidelli in 2019 after an announcement in 2018. The franchise was ready to take on the huge challenge. The events of 2019 were amazing and nothing less than spectacular. He left all those who lacked confidence speechless by standing at the podium seven times and attaining six poles. He ended the season as a year's rookie in the championship of independent riders and was ranked fifth. Even with his fantastic victory in the first class still fresh in his mind, Fabio had a target to win big for 2020. The calendar was affected because of the COVID pandemic, but it did not take long for him to get back on track. 
Fabio won again in Jerez in July and started the campaign by winning twice. He won the third time in Catalonia but could not keep up with the pace as the season continued. He had 14 GPs but still made 9 victories, of which 4 were pole positions. El Diablo had speed, which meant he would have to aim for consistency to grab his first championship title. 2021 was a good year for Fabio, as he made his two dreams come true in one season. He emulated his hero Valentino Rossi, became a member of the Yamaha team in the Premier MotoGP class, and grabbed the World Championship. He did both flawlessly, starting with the first win he made for the factory's team while just on his second race. He stood at the podium nine times afterwards and won four times to become the world champion. BMW also awarded him in 2021, making him the focus for all its competitors. He was identified as the racer to look forward to surpassing in the 2022 season, and he was prepared for the challenge. Here's a few well-known facts about Fabio. He's among the top paid racers in the MotoGP as of now. He has an estimated value of $5 million with a basic salary of $2.5 million every season. Fabio earns his main income from racing in the MotoGP, but also earns a lot from endorsement deals. He's the youngest pole sitter ever recorded in history. He qualified for the pole in the Spanish Grand Prix in Catalonia 2019. The record has been held untouched by Marc Marquez until 2013. Quattararo has the nickname El Diablo, which stands for the devil when translated to English. He revealed that he got the nickname after winning titles in 2013-2014 and receiving a replica of a helmet worn by Locatelli. Fabio's main idol is Valentino Rossi, who's won the World Championship seven times in the Premier class. Fabio emulated Valentino. He always watched him on TV when he was growing up. He idolized Valentino and always dreamed of racing with him in the one team. Valentino's career was irregular though in 2020, which led to his replacement by Fabio in 2021 for Yamaha's factory team. Fabio's off-track activities So, what does Fabio like doing when he's not on the track? As he grew up in Spain, Fabio became a huge soccer fan and has been seen practicing with Juventus, one of Italy's top-rated teams, and Valencia FC, both based in Spain. Moving on to his dating life, sports tends to bring people closer together, sometimes turning them into lifelong relationships and sometimes even marriages. It is common to see racers publicly share information about their love life on social media. Having love seems to be part of their endgame. On the other hand, Fabio is still single and does not seem to be dating anyone at this time. He's not shared any information suggesting he's in a relationship like the other motorsport stars. It seems that Fabio is putting all of his concentration on his career. After being a successful motorsport racer and making a lot of money, Fabio would probably want to own a car too. Luckily for him, he was awarded a BMW M5 CS in 2003. He enjoys driving a powerful car with a horsepower of 635, reaching 0 to 100 km an hour in just 3 seconds. Whether on his bike or car, Fabio takes his speed to the limits. 2021 MotoGP Champion Fabio became the 2021 MotoGP Champion during his third season after joining the Yamaha team. He won after coming fourth and his rival crashing out with five laps remaining at the 2021 Emilia Romana Grand Prix. His rival at the time was Francesco Bagnaia and all he needed to beat Fabio was three points in the next round. This was the Wonder Kids moment to clinch the title, making him the first French first-class world champion from a fan to world champion. Fabio Quattararo has lived up to his dreams and attained more than he could ever have hoped for. As he furthers his career, the expectations are high and so is his spirit. What the future holds for Fabio Quattararo is a wonder for many as we all know of his remarkable abilities and achievements so far on track. Be sure to check out Moto Plus for more fantastic videos. See you there!